Hello everybody, I'm back with some more painting for you guys from Burn Studio. Again, my name is Auburn, friends call me Burn, and I want to again talk about Burn Box that you can buy. It has everything you need to pretty much do any of the paintings that I show you guys. Um, a lot of them come with these cute little kits. This one's a little messy, so I thought I'd use it today. And you really aren't going to need, you're going to have plenty of paint in there for everything you need. But today, I'm going to do some hot air balloons. Because I feel like, you know, that kind of makes me think of summer. Just some little whimsical flowers there at the front, which you could change those up. But you have all the colors you need to create this. So first, I want to talk about sketching a little bit. So I'm going to try to hold this up a little bit closer so you guys can see here. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come in with a horizon line. On this one, I did two with more extra trees. Today, I was kind of feeling like I don't think I want as many. So I did just a big hill line that comes in here. And then I'm going to have a couple more pencil top trees over on this side. You can see that. The base is there. Then for my hot air balloons, uh, the key is, you know, start small, almost like a teardrop. You know, think about that. Then get really fat at the top. Upside down teardrop, I should say. Now, right in this area, you're going to do an oval. It's on its side. It's inside the balloon. Then you're going to create a, a little square here but I want to make it a little bit more dimensional. So I give it a bottom and I do a line in between. Of course, we can add the ropes in there. Okay. Now you can get super fancy if you want to with all of your details. Like, you know, if you want to come in and have several, if you wanted to come in with even another line that came across. Oh, that's a little crooked. There we go. You can do that in there as well. Now I did add a couple more. This one needs to be a little bit bigger at the top. I could have kind of this whole top part is a line. And a little square. Bottom there. And just erase any of your mess ups. I'm not too worried about that, honestly, right now. Then I have one tiny, tear, tiny little balloon way off in the distance, and you'll hardly have any details on that one. Now you can have as many as you want. <clears throat> and here you could have some that even come off the side, like I have there and there. Oh, my puppy came to come visit me. Hi, Joplin. <laughs> now down here at the bottom, uh, you're going to also, we're going to have a field of flowers. You don't really need to draw those in there. I'm going to actually do more flowers this time than what I did here, but they're just whimsical blossoms there. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in, shall we? Can you see that there? Okay, all right. So I'm gonna have my medium and small brush because I am painting on a 12 by 12, which that is a little bit far away for you guys to see. I might move you a little closer here. I'm going to, and you can, you get a burn box from me and you have one of these kits you can put all of your paint you know on something or you can just go directly from the kits themselves but i'm going to have a very washy background here with the sky let me get this a little bit closer so when i come in here with my blue very washy watering you can see that there oh let's go for it sorry <laughs> oh well, I'll just stick with it over there. <laughs> so blue coming down back and forth, back and forth in that area. Adding water every time. And then when I get closer down here to my horizon line, I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some white. There we go. Adding in some white down there, but it's more of a dark blue at the top. Yes, I did paint over my balloons, 
So you just need to make sure that you draw your balloons really dark so you can still see them in there. Maybe be better here. And more water. Back and forth, back and forth. I get to see all my messy corner over here. <laughs> so when I get down here to that horizon line, that's right here. That's when I said add in some white. So now I'm going to come in, dip in some white. But I'm not worried about covering up. Now I'm doing a very just subtle sky. I could come in here on top of this and even add in some clouds if I wanted to. I know I've shown a few tutorials on clouds. There we go. So if I wanted just to add a couple wispy clouds real quick, come in with the white, and I could just roll a few little wispy clouds, just like that. Just in that area. Okay. All right. So now I'll clean up my brush. And I'm going to come down to the bottom part and I'm going to be adding in some green with yellow. Clean brush. Green and yellow mixed together. Or I could even start with a darker green at the bottom here getting to lighter because once it gets closer to the light it would be lighter dip in some yellow there we go i even kind of noticed that i turned my brush on the horizon i turned my brush this direction and then here in this area i paint chunky going this way Okay, so that's my base with my background and with my foreground now. So I don't really need this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the water. Now I'm going to go with my small round brush and I'm going to go ahead with the dark green up here for my trees. Now, I could also come in with some yellow, too, on top of this. Even stipple it a little bit. Okay. Now, before I really start coming in too much with my flowers, I want to do some sprigs of grass. But I want it to be a little bit darker. So, you could do this a couple ways. You can mix green with a few colors and play with getting a darker green. Uh, we could, of course, add black. Um, you could add blue, have a like blue green. You could also add purple, which is one of my favorite things to do. Or you could do the complementary color of green, which is red. And so that those are all different ways. But like I said, my favorite way to make green darker, a little purple. And I'm going to come down here right at the bottom, and I'm just going to flick up. See that? That's with purple. But try to play with it with some of those others too. And we'll see what you like. Right there. More green. Just flicking directly from the base up. Now, this is foreground. It's in the front. So then when it starts getting further off in the distance, they would be more dotted. Just like dots you would hardly tell. We'll be doing that also with our flowers. Okay, now I could keep fiddling with that for a while, um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. So now I'm going to come up here to my balloons. So a couple things with your balloons. My sky is pretty light, so I'm. Gonna, I think I can just come on directly with the color, and I think I'm going to have. I could. Oh, also, if you did a really heavy sky. Go ahead and paint your balloons white, let them dry, and then come on top, and that'll make them really vibrant. 
I'm going to do a little bit of orange and white together. Oop. So I'll have some white coming here. I'm going to dip in some orange. I'm going to go ahead and paint my entire balloon a solid color. Now, if you are wanting to get very, very uh, detailed, you could just do each section at a time, but I kind of like doing a base color and then come on top with all my detail work there. Up and down, making sure I'm painting the direction. Don't, you know, paint it this way all round shape so I'm painting it up and down and, and curving as I come to the outsides rounding at the top so I get it all nicely covered you might be like well it's it, there's just some white streaks in there just leave it it's fine I'm gonna come in with some more orange going with that curve see how now it's starting to look a little bit more rounded Curving over, curving over, and rounded top. There you go. Okay, now I need to do this one over here. So I'm going to go ahead and clean out my brush. I think I'm going to make that one purple. That sounds fun. There we go. Purple balloon. I could add some white too if I want to lighten it up a little bit. My cover's a little bit better there. Okay. All right. Rounding it off. Now, I'm a pretty fast painter, so if you are following along with me uh, step by step, always feel free to pause me. Like, okay, now I'm going to work on that one for a little bit. Okay, solid little purple balloon. I'll probably make it a little bit darker. Now I have the one way off in the distance. What color should I make that one? I think I'm going to make it red. Little petito. <laughs> so tiny. Okay, so now I have my base of all of those. Now I can start coming in with the base of my, since I have red still on my brush here, might as well, and I can start doing some poppies. So they're gonna be really big, and earlier I mentioned that red and green are complementary colors. So you notice that red on top of the green is going to make it a little bit darker. That's okay, because we are gonna do a couple coats here. Some of them could be, when you get closer to the horizon line with your poppy flowers, you're going to start making them smaller, where they're real tiny. But up here in the foreground, I don't even care if they're perfect circles. You can just kind of make sure some of them go off the page, some of them can overlap, and then they get tiny as they go off into the distance. Let's set that down for a second. I realized the last time I did a um a show in here i had my big giant canvas <laughs> so i have to hold this up a little bit closer for you guys see that back at the bottom i'm getting smaller the further up it goes one teeny tiny you can also even use the back end of your brush here to get some really teeny tiny little little dots in there. For our poppy field. Now let's say you want to add some other flowers in there. Go for it. You don't, they don't all have to be red poppies. I just like poppies. Okay. All right. So now, when you would come, oops, let me move this one back over here. Actually, I could probably set this one up here. 
then you see on top of those flowers, then I come in with some purple and some yellow and some white and some orange and playing and having fun with those. Clean up my brush. I'm gonna let my red dry just for a second. Because I'm going to come in real quick and do the base of my uh, trees. Now, I don't have brown in this kit, but you can easily get a brownish color by mixing orange and black. And that will work just for these little seeds. It looks like brown. For my little baskets and the base of my trees over here. make this one a little bit bigger teeny one over here teeny teeny one teeny teeny over there okay um now i want the bottom of my baskets to be darker because i would see the bottom underneath because those are up in the sky and that also adds a little bit of dimension to them as well as right underneath the green and on the back side of my trees. I think I still need to come in with some more green there. Then I'm gonna use that black that I have on my brush. I'm gonna roll my brush, get it nice and skinny. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, little lines here, as well as that egg that we drew earlier, the base of the balloon. Oops, I got a little smudge. I'll fix that a little bit. You can also use the back end of your brush here to get, um, you know, some of those lines in real time. I actually used purple in some of these over here. Oh, I forgot my little line on my basket, the one in the front. Okay. Now that little bitty spot that I messed up, I'm going to tell you guys a little trick here. Um, I don't have a napkin with me, of course. But you can get a little water on a napkin. I'm just going to use my apron. And you can just slightly, I call it the magic eraser. You can even wrap it around your brush if it's a little tiny area. And it kind of just takes away that little spot there. Okay, so now for more detail work. And adding in all the fun in the balloons. So I think I'm going to do a couple of... Um, I think I'm going to add some red to the balloon. I'm going to make some of these stripes look a little bit darker. So I'm going to do a red stripe here, a red stripe there. There we go. Maybe red over here on the far outside. That's fun. And then work in sections. So then you can let that dry. Hi, Joplin! <laughs> Uh, maybe I can pick you up in a little bit at the end of the video. I think I could do some horizontal base here with the red. I even think some purple might be nice to add on top of that. Let's do a big stripe over here. And the one that's way off in the distance, I'm just going to kind of let that be. Now I'm going to clean up my brush. I'm going to come in with some blue on this one over here. And I'm going to go ahead and do my little lines. And they curve the opposite direction. I'm going to do some lines around it. And this is pretty basic. You could definitely, um, if you're a little bit more of an advanced, um, you could keep fiddling, keep adding the highlights, doing all the detail. I'm just kind of showing you the basic here. A little bit of blue. And that one way off in the distance. Okay. So now, I could come in if I wanted like something, maybe some blue or green on here. I could come in with another stripe, or I could do like a, even a chevron. And if you're like, oh, I don't know if I like that, then I could just make it all solid. It's just really fun to kind of play with hot air balloons. See what you like the most. 
think I'm actually, I think I'm going to make that a solid too. Oh, I know what I could do. I could do a solid. Come on. And then I could do a mini line right underneath it. And then I'll keep playing with that and adding some to it as well there. Because I think now that I came in with that white on top, it would be fun to come in like with some bright yellow. And that's popping now. I could even do some white little dots over here. on that balloon. So they're definitely coming together. I mean, I keep fiddling, fiddling for a while, but now I want to move back down here to the poppies and talk about those a little bit. So I said we'd start adding some other colors um, and we're going to be doing these like in a swirling motion. Come in one way, then the other way. Swirl it, swirl it. Mostly just these at the front. Some of these might have a tiny bit in there. I could come in with some orange too, lay it in real thick. I could do a dot for the center. Do that and some of those. Even add some orangey, you know, flower dots in the background too. There we go. Bring out my brush. I could come in with some yellow. Said you could do a yellow center, a little swirly, just like that one. Boop, boop. Do some more dots back here. Those got a little bit big, but that's okay. Just to start making it look more like a field. You can tell coming in there. And then, oh, where did I? Then you could use blue or purple and make some darks in there too. Do some more little lines. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, I like how some of these are overlapping too. I think that makes them just seem a little bit more realistic when some of them overlap. So I could definitely keep playing with my designing and my poppy field and keep adding and adding and adding in more there. Uh, one last thing that I did want to discuss, I talked about shadows. And so I could come in either with black or blue and I could come in and do add a few more like lines and that kind of just makes that seem a little bit more like it's going to pop and blending in those areas and then this can all be more like even a shadow on one side and I could add some white to the opposite side for like a little bit of a highlight smush it with my finger even oh I got a big chunk on that one And a little bit of a balloon highlight. I got a little chunk, so I'm gonna add some more orange to this one. There we go. And you know, I'm just fiddle. It's so fun just to kind of, especially with these balloons, it's just kind of fun to keep playing with them and seeing what you like more and like, oh, maybe I need to keep blending. You know, I kind of covered up all that yellow that I had done, so I'm gonna bring back the yellow. But I really feel like the more you fiddle with the balloons, the better they will become for sure. So you can tell, you know, that one's starting to form up more. It's starting to get a little bit more realistic. I think we could definitely uh, keep coming in here with the trees, adding in some more green. In that area bring in some more green down here the bottom you know I always say at the end then just fiddle and have fun fiddle and have fun and play 
hopefully you'll know, okay, maybe now I need to stop. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to know when to stop. Fiddle and have fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this today. I know I did. I know it's been a little bit since I've gotten back on here and done a video. So I was happy to do one with you guys today. And I might even do a close up how to draw hot air balloon uh, that will be good for all ages. So and reminder, if you need a burn box, just send me a message and I can get one shipped to you. Uh, my burn box kits start at $20. So thank you guys again and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.